Hello everyone. We are going home. Um, this is going to be our test route too. Oh, I was going to nail it. There we go. See what it does right here. So this is good. This is what it should do at a stop sign though. Of course, I didn't let it go up to the stop sign. Huh, so far, it is... My, eh, I was going to say it's... Almost disengaged there. Uh, it's a little bit better. That's what I was trying to say. I wasn't... I was about, didn't want to speak too soon. It is a little bit better. At least it appropriately checked this time. I still do think it accelerates just a little bit too quickly. Um, it doesn't need to accelerate so quickly here. Especially like when it goes to a robot phantom brake right there. Oh, actually, that might have been due to the speed limit change. But yeah, it doesn't need to um, accelerate so quickly. Like, I would prefer, like, if it's a robo taxi, unless it has to get out around traffic. Uh, but when there's no traffic around, it shouldn't uh, be a phantom brake for that car. It shouldn't be uh, just accelerating, like, full out, ever. Like, it just needs to be more casual, like, comfortable acceleration. Phantom brake right there. My, it's these people. They think they're in the middle of the road. It's phantom braking a bunch because <laughs> it it's still trying to brake for these people. I the latency in this system. Wow, like they keep uh, they talk about latency a lot. I I look. I, I'm gonna be first to say I don't know anything about the AI and technology and stuff. I know enough about computers to understand what latency is and all that stuff. But the latency that they're talking about, like, this is atrocious. Like, we're already, like, 10, 15, 20 feet past those people, and it's still trying to break for them. Like, I don't know, like, what's going on. That, that's, like, that's not just millisecond latency. That's multiple second, like, latency. Right, so there's something serious going on in, in the system that needs to be optimized if it, like, is having that much issue of an issue around pedestrians. It's still trying to stop. Look at this. <laughs> still trying to stop for the stop sign. Literally since traffic control came out, it has always done it. Only last update did it not do it, and I think it was just by luck. Um, and we are going way too fast. Way too fast. And it doesn't turn the blinker on here until I turn it on. And the speed limit's also not 25 here. It is 35 right here. see right here I think it probably added no it's not gonna have added this yet this turn lane that was right there no I was thought it was gonna stay it so it changed from 20 to 25 mile an hour and then it changed to 35 just sitting here but there's no 35 hour speed limit. It did that strictly because of map data. And it, it won't read the sign. You can see it right there on the screen. It says a 20 mile per hour sign. And it just doesn't register that sign. Until the map data changes right here. And it's the same with every update. It's never done it. And I don't know why. Like, I'm, let's go ahead and do another camera, but I've done it many times. So yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, actually, um, 
Uh, somebody just put a comment on my video I just released this afternoon. Um, I test route one actually. Um, and so this will be several days later, this, later in the week when this video gets released. But um, about the screen recording. So Chuck Cook and um, um, Chris from Dirty Tesla um, and uh, several other people have the screen recorder uh, for the screen here. Unfortunately, as much as I would love to have that, it's a very expensive add-on. and I just don't have the additional money to spend right now. Now, if YouTube ends up paying me a lot more, that would be awesome. Um, I would totally do that. I just don't get paid enough between that and my work and everything to, to be able to invest. It's, I think it's about $1,000 for that component, as well as I have to manually solder some things uh, and connect to a board some wires and it, th there is a reasonably high chance I mess up the, the main screen here if I do that then that's another several hundred dollar replacement for Tesla to get a new screen so I prefer not to do that uh, or to risk that right now I know I understand that would give you a much clearer picture but um, I, I have what I'm working with so I appreciate everyone that's able to deal with the lesser quality especially at night uh, I know, I know it's a little bit blurry and you can't really read anything, but at least you can see my hands if I like want to point something on the screen, you'll be able to easily see my hands uh, over top of the video, so that's nice. Well, as I can also do this, so you can see my hand a little bit better, see, have a little bit more light, that does help a tiny bit. There's only so much you can do. So that's good, I went for this yellow light, that's exactly what I would have done. Now this one it should be slowing down for already. So definitely I've noticed that's one thing. I like to try and find at least one thing with each update that seems to be better and that's something that consistently has been better with 10.10. .10. Um, testing all day today is that it gets, it has better predictions of traffic lights, of when it should stop. Uh, specifically at least yellow lights. It is definitely better uh, predicting when it should be stopping or slowing for yellow lights. Curious when it's going to see this person. Yeah, I can already see that person up there. So you can barely, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a guy walking on the right, all in black, well, black uh, shirt and um, tan pants. And the car could already see him right here. I know the video is probably not very clear. Yeah, I know. So this is good. It didn't turn the blinker on, but it did get over a little bit sooner, which is nice. Let's see, there is a truck. I don't like how this is. acceleration of this car can be very useful there I should what I should have done um, I was letting the car control itself a little bit too much um, and what I should have done is uh, accelerated in front of the truck to get onto the highway if I was driving manually totally would have done that um, but letting the car drive the car was going too slow getting on the highway and then right up next to the truck if I had let it continue the merge, it would have like it, it would have went off the road. It would have gone off the road. There's no doubt, hundred uh, percent, that would have completely messed up. Potentially, potentially serious accident. Um, so there's that's not something like I mess around with when it comes to merging on the highway with trucks. Uh, I've I've in my old car because it didn't have enough power uh, due to a situation. Um, I've almost gotten in a wreck because of that because I couldn't get onto the highway quick enough um, and there was high traffic and everything else like it, it is a bad situation there's nothing I really could have done 
uh, and so having I'm really thankful for having faster acceleration on my on this car because it is several times like this is one of them one of at least five times I can think of where it's gotten me out of a pickle now I mean, to be fair I, I could have just stayed behind that truck the, this truck got over for me so it, it, um, so that was nice but what if he couldn't have if there was a car in, his, in the lane he would have had the jam on the brakes or something it, it could have been a weird finicky situation um, but I've had several situations where I needed the full acceleration of this car to get out of a sketchy situation and I, I'm just really thankful I, it's a seriously underrated safety feature of these cars uh, you don't realize it until you have the acceleration my old car was like 13 seconds you're the 60 or something stupidly slow I uh, had to plan ahead all the time to feel comfortable getting onto the highway. It just wasn't a safe car. It vibrated above 65 mile an hour. It was not a safe car to be in on the highway. It was a 1999 Hyundai Accent if you wanted to know what it was. So this was a humongous upgrade compared to that car. So it's, it's nice having a uh, safe car for sure. Probably. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to pay attention to what's going on. Um, so you probably noticed that, that does happen from time to time. I don't know what causes it. It's not cameras or anything like that. It's just nav data or something tells it to disable navigate on autopilot um, right before the exit. Um, it's done that a number of times I, and I don't really know why yeah we're good to go see like this I, I don't understand the only reason I'm letting it do that is because there's no one around oh whoa did they they fix the speed limit at least right here it got fixed is that the first time I've been home this way? Well, something changed to fix. Like, it def never has done that before regarding speeding up to 45 right there. That's awesome. Love that. Um, yeah. Um, that's going to be the end of this drive, everyone. That was a good final note to end on. Um, if you have questions for me, as always, put them down below. If you have suggestions for any future improvements I can do, I'm really receptive for that information. I've got the communicate in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching everyone bye